Okay guys, Mighty Gazelle back once again to continue Metro Prime Blind. Uh, last we left off, I beat Ridley and I failed at beating the second boss. I beat his first form and here I am once again. I just defeated him again. I didn't want you guys to sit through it though and I wanted to focus to make sure I did it decently. So here we go. Round number two with uh, Metro Prime's soul or whatever the hell it is. You guys taught me some very valuable things in the last comment section, so... I'm gonna use Thermal Vision more, I know how to kill the Metroids a little bit better, so... If I can just dodge his attacks and take care of the Metroids, I think I'm okay. Alright, step one, just dodge his, uh, attacks. He's dropping uh, health around right now. Might as well pick it up. He's in my face. He's really in my face. Get out of here, you ugly. Okay, I'm going to try to grab this right away and damage him. I don't think he summons Metroids right away, so... This first attack should be free for me to hit him like this. There we go. If I don't talk a lot, I really just want to make sure I do well, so... Hope you can forgive me. I didn't hurt him that much in that, that attack run, that's unfortunate. Okay, he's going for another attack. Let me grab that pool, if you don't mind. Okay, so far so good. I didn't realize he was sometimes not even using his cloaking, so literally this is a fight to see what uh, what cloaking he's using. At least so it seems to me. He hasn't called any Metroids in yet, but thank god because that's kind of the worst part of the fight, honestly. Okay, he's in thermal mode, I got that one right away. Give me the hell away from this guy, he's very, very disturbing. Come on, do your attack, bitch. Do your, uh, like, dark attack. Any day now. There you go. Oh, here come the Metroids. Activating Super Bomb. That one very, very, very well. If I can get that that well one more time, this fight's over. He likes to get up and close to you, I will say that. Take some guts.
Paltrogren, thank you for the super bomb trick. That was very, very helpful. Oh, shit. Please die. Please die. No! Damn it, that Metroid attached to me and freaking hurt me. I hate you. And that's freaking annoying. And he's just going to spawn more in. Okay, I gotta get his I gotta get his attack or his thing over here. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Get off of me! Frickin' every time! This boss fight. This is such a stupid boss fight. Can't just dodge them all and then just keep spawning. You just gotta make your presence known, don't you, freaking little Metroids? Okay, I gotta kill him. I'm freaking stuck on something. Come on, do your attack. See every frickin' time. Please die. Oh my god, thank you. That's the worst boss fight I've ever had in my life. This is a fantastic game. Why do they have to have such a terrible boss fight at the end? I do not care if I made anyone else mad. That boss fight is absolute garbage. I hate that fight. Rest of the game, 
incredibly amazing, but this boss fight was utter crap. Ugh, come on, Sam, let's, let's finish this. Oh, there goes my Phazon suit. Run! Crater collapse imminent. Evacuate immediately. Okay. It's not over yet. I gotta run, I guess. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully my ship just flies to me. Oh. I think we did it, guys. I think we just beat Metroid Prime. And for me, the first time ever. <sighs> Don't you just love explosions? Oh, she took her helmet off. That's cool. And just like that, we get the credits for the game. <sighs> well, this was a... I, this game was a completely different than I expected it would be. I'm not even kidding. Um, and before anyone says anything down in the comments, I realize that's probably not the best ending in the game. In fact, I know it's not because I only got like 70% of everything. So before anyone says like, oh, you could have got a better ending, well, I got the ending that I got. So, but man, this game, I didn't expect it to be like the way it was. Um, I don't really know what I was expecting in the first place. I've always heard for years this game was just some of, amongst everyone's favorite, like Nintendo fans' favorite games, and I never doubted it. I never doubted it was a good game, but I don't know. I never got around to playing it. Um, you know, life happens. I was going through high school and started college and everything, and uh, before middle school I was moving a lot, so I didn't have the time to sit down and, uh, you know, beat this game. And I'm really glad that I came up to, this, to the decision to play this game for the first time, and whew, if I had to give an overall grade to this game, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. It truly is an amazing game. Like you guys can count me on as a Metroid fan now. I, I love these game. I love this game. I have, obviously haven't played the other ones except for Metroid Prime 3. I've never played Super Metroid on the Super Nintendo. I never played the original. I never played the Game Boy Advance games or anything like that. So my experience of the franchise is very minimal. But I'm on board, at least for the 3D ones. Uh, maybe one day I'll try out Super Metroid Blind, but that that's gonna be a long way away if I ever do that. Um, the music in this game was probably the thing that impressed me the most. Well, two things. The music and the graphics. They... I'll start with the music. The music is incredibly atmospheric. It always made me feel like I was on an alien world or an alien location in some way. Uh, with the boss fights, with the scene... Like, I'm just walking around the scenery, and if you're in the Magmore Mines, you just hear everything so well. This, the sound design in this game was 10 out of 10. Uh, graphically, this game still looks incredibly impressive. I'm, oh, cool, they have a... Oh, cool, they have put it like a thank you letter. I, I'm not going to read all that, but... Um, wow. Metroid Prime. I I didn't realize Metroid Prime was an actual boss. That's, that's kind of funny that the series is named after that. Um, I know there's a lot more lore that I... I didn't read during the game, but I'm definitely going to go touch up on it on the off time. Uh, and then the graphics. This game looks incredibly beautiful. Um, little fun fact. The GameCube is actually the most powerful of the consoles of its generation. Oh, cool. A little bit more. And that was it. That's probably the part that you get more stuff if you get more percent done. Yeah, I got 70%. Hard mode active. What does that mean? Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know what it meant by hard mode active. Maybe that's like the second playthrough stuff. Uh, but anyway, that does it for me on this Let's Play. 
I want to give a thank you to everyone who's following me along this adventure and for people in the future. Thank you for sticking through this whole playthrough and hope you guys really enjoyed. I enjoyed. Um, minus the final boss fight, like the specifically the ghost form part. That part was kind of bullcrap. But um, I will play Metroid Prime 2 at some point. Probably later this year. Uh, I kind of want to take a couple months to do some other games and then I'll jump into Metroid Prime 2. I still have to purchase it, but... I love this game so much that I promise you guys now I will play Metroid Prime 2. Um, but yeah, that does it for my Metroid Prime Let's Play. Blind, of course. Uh, this adventure may be over, but we still have a lot more to do in the future. Uh, what game will I do next? Well, you'll just have to stick around and find out. Until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.